Roblox is one of those games that all of us can truly appreciate. It is a light that shines during our darkest of times, a treasure that we hold dear to, and an experience that created our childhood with memories we will never forget. Although, those memories are no longer at our grasp. As the world changes, so does Roblox. Whether if we can accept it or not, we have to accept change. And I think Roblox is trying to tell us that we should cherish every moment in our lives because in a snap of a finger, all of it will disappear. And sometimes, you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. So as you may know, the current state of Roblox today is pretty stale. There's awful simulators, cash grabs, horrible TikToks, stitch faces, and even pedo f Oh, did I also forget to mention that there are kids playing this game? Remember how Roblox used to be this kid-friendly LEGO game back in 2006 to 2009? Well, I don't. I was still a toddler at that time, but you get the point. Back then, we got like Doomspire, we got Crossroads, Epic Minigames, Zombie Rush, Sword Fights on the Heights, and now, we just have this. <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started on the microtransactions. Premium? What's that? Oh, don't you mean Builders Club? That's right, back then we used to have this cool membership called Builders Club. What does premium have? Some weird gang symbols. Although, I think you still get the same amount of Robux in total. The only minor difference is that with premium, you get Robux per month. But with Builders Club, you get Robux per day. I hope I got that right. But here's the worst part. Premium actually gives you advantages in game some games offer advantages if you bought premium that would be blatantly unfair for everyone else oh no 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 it doesn't end there oh no it does not ever heard of game passes those in-game passes that gives you another advantages over free-to-play players that's right almost every game has a game pass what you'll about to hear in the next couple of minutes is just me complaining about the game passes i mean my ranting is totally justified there's no bias involved. Mm -hmm. Not a single bit at all. These stupid game passes give so much edge over others that don't have, and it's utterly ridiculous. The concept of fair went through these developers' heads, and they aren't even hiding it. How the hell are other people gonna compete if they are always at a disadvantage, huh? <clears throat> Let's take a look at a good example of this, shall we? Take Pet Simulator X, for example. Well, what do you see? Oh, game passes? Well, how many? One, two, three, four, fifteen? What the hell? Fifteen? Are they crazy? Look at the player count! Don't you think that's enough money to support your entire developer team and your family? Alright, alright. Let's calm ourselves down, you mostly. Let's go in game. Surely it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Surely it's not the same for other games, right? Right? Sometimes I even question myself. How the hell do people even play these games? They would do all this hard work for so many hours only for I'm some kid to I'm breathe through it in a matter of minutes using his or her mother's credit card. Don't you think it's a bit unfair? Why even bother playing the game anymore when you can just buy your way through it? Is this really what they want to do with their lives? Nowadays, it's so difficult difficult to find a game without a single pay to win feature all i see now is just two times cash two times luck infinite backpack two times loot two times of every goddamn thing i remember back then when the game passes used to be just speed coils or gravity coils and it won't even matter because their effects are so insignificant that you can term them as cosmetics uh crackers these developers don't make games for free they need to feed them themselves and their families. These different game passes and such are justified as they have to find a way to make money from their work. Which is true, 
you post a valid argument, but hear me out. Maybe they could add cosmetic items or create a merchandise. There are so many other ways to make money than just game passes that will literally shorten the lifespan of your game. By the way, this is all just a joke. Don't take things so seriously.